Hey there. Welcome back to Adventure in Art. My name is Ben Staley and I have changed. If you watch the channel regularly, you will know about my Leica Q2, 28mm fixed lens, megapixel beast. The only digital camera that I own actually anymore. And you'll know the story if you've watched the videos. Uh, I sold all my digital camera equipment, all my lenses, everything. Now I only have that one single camera. I wanted to force myself to see the world differently, to use a wider lens and not use shallow depth of field as a crutch. I wanted to change and I have. Now, I've had the Q2 for over two years now and uh, I have no plans on getting rid of it. And I don't have any plans on getting a different or another digital camera. I'm gonna stick with it, but my eye has changed. This video pertains to my favorite camera, not the Q2, my M6, this little guy. watch the channel, you will know why this is my favorite camera. This little guy right here goes with me everywhere. I've had a 50 millimeter Summicron on it. I'm a 50 millimeter guy. I love 50 millimeter. If I have a SLR or a DSLR, I always usually have a 50 millimeter on it. I like that focal range. Uh, I like fast 50. The F2 of the Summicron is wonderful. But the last year or so, I've been finding the 50 millimeter to be a little too constrictive. Uh, just wishing I, you know, needing to, I feel myself needing to back up or wishing I just had a little bit wider field of view and I've been lusting after the 35 millimeter focal range. I've had it in the back of my head that I would eventually get a Leica 35 millimeter Summicron to complement my 50 millimeter Summicron. Perhaps even the legendary Bokeh King 35 millimeter from Leica. That lens is pretty expensive though. It just hasn't been something that I've wanted to pull the trigger on, if you know what I'm saying. Well, recently uh, I had a job in Africa and two days before I was gonna leave, I woke up and just almost in a panic and realized I need a 35 millimeter if I'm going to Africa. And the lens that I have been lusting after for a long time is the Color Scope Bar 35 millimeter from Voigtlander, it's an F2.5. I have watched reviews online, I've read a lot about it, I've looked at sample images, and I just arrived at a place where I thought, that's the lens for me. Now I live in Los Angeles, I called up all the camera shops, nobody carried it. I went on B&H's website and realized that even if I ordered it next day air, I would never get the lens in time from the East Coast. And so, a bit discouraged, I logged on to Craigslist and Lo and behold, an hour before, someone had placed an ad trying to sell their 35 millimeter color scope R Voigtlander. So I called the guy up, rather I sent him an email. He replied right away, we corresponded. An hour later we were meeting somewhere between us and he handed me off the lens uh, for $109 cheaper than retail price and it was freaking mint. You wanna see it? You wanna see it? You wanna see my new lens? You wanna see it? It's right here, you wanna see it? I got my lens and I was headed to Africa. Would you like to see some photos? This is the country of Mozambique. Now the film that I'm using here in this first roll is Portra 400. That, my friends, is a huge fucking bat. The 
those are giraffes. Fairly close, but you can't tell with the 35 millimeter. I'm usually up before dawn, usually hike around camp a little bit, take some photos. Then I have some coffee. This is the Zambezi River, pre-dawn. Beautiful. Spent a lot of time in the Zambezi on this trip. These next pictures are all T-Max 100, which is probably my go-to walk around film. I love T-Max, very sharp. These locals live very differently than we do here in America. Almost none of them spoke any English, but they're just so friendly and inviting, big smiles. I just loved photographing them. More of that in the next video. Now this is the city of Maputo in Mozambique. I think this gazelle skull is my favorite photo from the trip. After Africa, I went to Peru for the third time. I've done three separate jobs in Peru and it's one of my favorite countries on the planet that I've been to. I freaking love photographing Peru. Here we go. Okay, this is T-Max 100 again. Slight light leak there, that's the first shot of the roll. I think the light leaked into the opening in the canister. Love that tree shot. It's super bright there in the middle of the day. Even at 100 speed film, I'm stopped down to, most times, stopped down to 5.6 or an F8. This lens is just really sharp. I don't have a single issue with it. Walking around these little towns with my M6 is about my favorite thing in the universe. This shot is a wide open portrait and you can see I still get really great background separation, even at a f2.5. I love this lens. Hmm. 
No, this guy came out so I could take his picture. The Peruvians are awesome people. Slight light leak there, I'm not sure what that's about. On the last night of the trip, uh, myself and Josh, our team medic, hiked up to the top of this hill with Yvonne, who's the local you see there in the distance. He sort of led us up to this cool spot right at sunset. I'm covered in sweat, you can see. It was a highlight, probably the best night I had in five months on this whole project, traveling all over the world. Yvonne was pulling some fruit out of this cactus. These locals are just so full of knowledge. There's Yvonne. What a great dude. Didn't speak a word of English. And that's my buddy Josh. Slow shutter there. It's getting pretty dark. So there we have it. Leica M6, 35 millimeter color scope R from Voigtlander, which is, you know, compared to Leica, a budget lens manufacturer. Pretty freaking awesome optics, honestly. And I do love the compact form. Look, you take off the hood and it's so small. Boop. It's just a sexy little package. I love it. Pretty happy with the purchase. Uh, very happy with the results. Love this camera, love the lens, love shooting film. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Do me a favor and give it a little beep, beep, if you would. Apparently it helps. Uh, I've got some cool stuff coming up. The very next video is gonna be some digital portraits from Africa, some of my favorite work in a long time. So stay tuned for that video very soon. I appreciate you watching. Get out there and take some photos. Have an adventure. Make some art. We'll see you soon. Thank you.